Welcome to our lecture online and here's an example about the inductance and an RL circuit. An RL circuit is a, is a circuit where you have a resistor and an inductor in the same circuit up connected to a battery. Now assume that the switch is in this position before we do anything else and let's say that it's been like that for a long time and current is flowing around the circuit like this and we call that a steady state condition and in a steady state condition when the current is not changing the inductor offers no opposition to the current flow because remember inductors only oppose the current that changes so when the current is trying to increase or the current is trying to decrease the inductor then comes into play but after long steady state and the current is flowing the inductor offers no opposition to the current and so in this case for part A I steady state is simply equal to the voltage divided by the resistance in the circuit, which is 20 volts divided by 20 ohms, which is equal to 1 amp. So initially, at the steady state condition, um, we have only the resistor and the battery to worry about, which using Ohm's law tells us that the current is 1 amp. After we throw the switch, and the switch goes into this, this, uh, this new position so that there's no longer a connection this way but now there's a connection that way all of a sudden the battery no longer plays a role and now we have the current in the circuit that normally would instantaneously stop but because the inductor is there the current will not instantly stop the conductor will try to oppose the difference of change in the current and is going to try to keep the current going for a while it can only do that for a little bit of time and so the time constant uh, that is relevant to the circuit can be found by saying that it's equal to L over R. And so L is the inductance, which is 1.6 Henry's. Resistance is 20 ohms. And so this is equal to, uh, let's see here, 0 0.08 seconds. So 8 one hundredths of a second is one time constant in the circuit. If we now find out how long it will take for the current to almost go completely to zero, we can say that 5 times constant is equal to 5 times L over R, which is equal to 5 times 0 0.08 seconds, so which is equal to 0 0.40 seconds, which means that the current will continue to flow until it's reached almost zero for another 0.4 seconds after the switch is thrown. So the, conduct, the inductor keeps the current going for about another 0.4 of a second. Now, if someone wants to know, and I think I'm missing a T here in my current, um, if someone wants to know what is the current in the circuit a quarter of a second after the switch is thrown, which is definitely longer than one time constant, but not as long as five time constants, you know there will be still some, some um, oh, and I have another spelling error. I'm doing terrible with my spelling today. This, there's a uh, H missing here, thrown. There we go, that's better. Can't have those spelling errors. But um, so yeah, so if after 0.25 seconds, which is less than five time constants, there's still some current flowing, and how do you find that current? So the equation there is that I as a function of time is equal to the I initial, and so you can call this the I initial, uh, times E to the minus T over tau. Tau is the time constant of the circuit, which is L over R. So this can be written, I as a function of time is equal to I sub naught times E to the minus T over L over R, like that. Or if you then divide by fractions, same as multiplying by, by its inverse, you can say I as a function of time is equal to I sub naught times E to the minus TR over L. You could also write it like that in case you want to. Okay, so now we want to find the current at 0.25 seconds. So in this case, since tau, I'm going to use this equation right here. Since I know what tau is, I calculate it right here to be 0.08 seconds. I can say that I, when time is equal to 0.25 seconds, that's equal to I initial, which is equal to 1 amp, times E to the minus T, and the T was 0.25 seconds, divided by tau, and tau is 0.08 seconds. There we go. And what is it equal to? I when t is equal to 0.25 seconds, that's 1 amp, times, now I need my calculator, which is right here, ready for me. So 0.25 divided by 0.08 equals 
that is e to the minus 3.125 and uh, let's put a minus in front there e to the x so that is equal to 1 amp times 0 0.044 and so that's equal to 0 0.044 amps which means that the current after a quarter second in the circuit is now down to only 4.4% of its original value, or 0.044 amps. And that's how you work a problem like that.